Hi, my name is Trev Hutchings, and this is my complete guide to the sampler in BandLab. If you've been wanting to create your own custom looper pack or custom drum kit in BandLab, then now you're in luck because BandLab has added a sampler. On the home screen, tap on the red plus icon at the bottom of the screen. Then tap on the sampler icon. You can also add the sampler from the track mixer screen. On the track mixer screen, tap on the plus icon below the tracks and tap on sampler. To record live, press your finger on a grey pad. The grey pad will turn red to show that it is recording your microphone. Now sing into your microphone. Do. Take your finger off the pad to stop recording. To import a sound, at the bottom right of the screen, tap on the pencil icon. Tap on a grey pad. Then at the bottom of the screen, tap on Import Audio or Video. Then tap on an audio file to import it from your phone or tablet. To add a plus loop sound, at the bottom right of the screen, tap on the pencil icon. Tap on a grey pad. Then at the bottom of the screen, tap on Browse. At the top of the screen, scroll through the tabs and tap on a tab to select a sound group. Then scroll through the plus loop sounds and tap on your chosen plus loop sound to install it into your library. Then tap on the plus loop again to add it to the sampler pad. To import a BandLab sampler pack, at the bottom left of the screen, tap the audio file icon. Tap on a pack to install it to your library. Then tap on the pack again to load it into the sampler. To play the pads, press your finger on a pad to hear the sample. Hold your finger on the pad to hear the whole sample. If you remove your finger before the sample has finished, the sample will stop playing. The bottom left pad is pad 1. The pad to the right of pad 1 is pad 2. The pad above pad 1 is pad 5 and the top right pad is pad 16. Do. 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 To live record the pads, at the bottom of the screen, tap on the record button, then press the pads to play the samples. The played samples will be recorded. Press the stop button to stop recording. Do, do, do. To record with the step sequencer, at the bottom right of the screen, tap the sequencer icon. Tap on the grid in the bottom row that is labelled 1 to add a pad 1 sample to the step sequencer. Do. Press on the end of the added sample note and drag it to the right to make the note longer. Do. The length of the sample note will set how much of the sample is played. Tap on the grid row that is labelled 5 to add a pad 5 sample to the step sequencer. Do. Do.
At the top right of the screen, tap the X icon to exit the step sequencer. To save your custom sampler kit, at the top right of the screen, tap on the three dots. Tap on Save As in the pop-up menu. Type a name for your custom sampler kit. Then press Save. To change the pitch of the sample, at the bottom right of the screen, tap on the pencil icon. Tap on a recorded pad. At the bottom of the screen, press your finger on the pitch knob icon and drag your finger up the screen until it says 4.00 ST in the pop-up menu to make the sample pitch four semitones higher. Or drag your finger down the screen until it says minus 4.00 ST in the pop-up menu to make the sample pitch four semitones lower. Press the pad to hear the re-pitch sample. At the bottom right of the screen, tap on the tick icon. To delete a pad, at the bottom right of the screen, tap on the pencil icon. Tap on a recorded pad. Then at the bottom right of the screen, tap on the red bin icon to delete the sample in the pad. The pad will now turn grey. If you accidentally delete the wrong sample, at the bottom left of the screen, tap the undo icon. Now at the bottom right of the screen, tap on the tick icon. To duplicate a pad, at the bottom right of the screen, tap on the pencil icon. Press your finger on a recorded pad. Then drag your finger to another pad. At the bottom right of the screen, tap on the tick icon. To edit the pad sample, at the bottom right of the screen, tap on the pencil icon. Tap on a recorded pad. Then at the bottom right of the screen, tap on Edit. Tap on Color to change the pad color. Tap on Group None to add the pad to a group. Then tap on None, One, Two, Three or Four in the pop-up menu. Tapping on a pad with a group number stops any other pad with the same group number from playing. In the Wave image box, drag the light grey vertical trim markers to select the exact part of the sample to be played. The part of the sample that will be played is highlighted in the pad colour. Tap on Normalise to boost the sample volume to the maximum level before distortion. Tap on Crop to trim the sample to the length set by the light grey vertical trim markers. Tap Reverse to reverse the sample playback. Drag the dot on the slider to the right of the word attack to add a fade in to the beginning of the sample. Drag the dot on the slider to the right of the word release 
to increase how long the sample will play for after you stop pressing the pad. Drag the dot on the slider to the right of the word tone to the right to remove the low frequencies from the sample. Or drag the dot on the slider to the right of the word tone to the left to remove the high frequencies from the sample. Tap on one shot to set the sample to play all the way through once when you tap on the pad. Tap on loop to set the sample to play in a continuous loop when you press on the pad continuously. Tap on gate to set the sample to only play for as long as you press on the pad but only play once. Pressing on play allows you to hear the edited version of the sample. Tap on done to save the edited sample to the pad. Then at the bottom right of the screen, tap on the tick icon. If you've enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.